So now that I showed you one way to make the wings, I'm actually going to show you a second alternative way. And so this version, I'm going to be using wire. I did not purchase this wire. I got it from Armida, who just had it in her cosplay stash. And since I don't want to buy any more things because I bought enough already, I decided to use what I had. I don't know what gauge it is. Is that dumb? I don't even know how to look it up. It's about a 1 16th of an inch wide. They're pretty much my arm span. Each wing is gonna be my entire arm span. This is the back that's gonna go in the corset section. It kind of looks like a wishbone kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna show you how to alter the corset back brace that I already made to fit the wire instead of the PVC. It's gonna be very simple, don't even worry about it. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, the wire, I doubled it up so I twisted it around itself. The little wishbone part is about seven inches this is about five inches it looks like, and I have about an inch and a half gap that's gonna go like that. I also made this little triangle. Again, it's the wire doubled up, twisted upon itself, and this is gonna go on it like this, and we're gonna be making like a T. So I taped up that triangle onto the wing base right here. I already started this side just to make sure I knew what I was doing and that it would work. Oh, look at it, it's holding together! Okay, and it's super light, I love it. And I guess I'm just gonna work on it and you guys are gonna watch. So I guess the hardest part is gonna be getting them even. I didn't really think about that. Okay, let's just, let's just go for it, shall we? And then just keep adding strips of wire and attaching them with duct tape to the outer base frame. I'm out of duct tape! Oh no! Okay, so I found neon pink. Keep adding the wire supports until you feel that it's sturdy enough. And lots and lots of duct tape. Do not fear the duct tape. So after I had the frames all done, which you guys got to see me do the wire frames, um, I pretty much just cut out cardboard and taped it to it. I do have a seam right here. My cardboard was not big enough. I didn't have a big enough of a box to cover the whole wing. This piece has to be singular to give it stability and make them not floppy and not make the wings move. I just bent it till I like the shape. A lot, a lot of duct tape. If you find it's not holding together, just put more duct tape on it. Then in order to give myself a smoother working surface, I decided to glue felt down on the front and backs of the wings. I'm done spending money on feathers, so I'm just making my own, which is very, very time consuming and sucky, but it's better than spending money. So let's do this. I start off with garden wire for the frames. It's pretty much, it's really cheap. It's like two bucks for one of these and I spray painted it white just to match my feathers. As you can see, I'm using a soldering iron to cut out the feathers. This way it burns the edge of the fabric so I don't have any fraying ends. So this fabric I ended up getting is a white polyester. Um, I don't, that's all it says, it's a white polyester. So again, you're gonna have to just get a few fabrics and test out what one you like best. It is gonna have to be some sort of synthetic fabric to be able to burn with the soldering iron. Now I am adding the garden wire to the cutouts of the feathers. In small sections, I just run a strip of hot glue down the center of the feather and then roll the wire onto it. Okay, so you see I've pretty much finished this side. Pretty much, pretty much, I think so. So we're gonna be working on this side now. So you can see this first layer back here was just the long felt pieces. I just glued right onto the bottom. Three curvy ones right here. Um, long fabric ones down the back. So I think there's five here. One, two, three, four, five. Five long ones about midway through the wing. Then up at the very top, we've got six curly ones just like this. And that's it for the back. So starting with the longest feathers, I'm just gonna glue a row down to the very bottom edge of the wing. Next, taking the medium length feather, I'm gluing them in diagonal rows down the wing. And I'm doing these two rows right on top of each other. I'm using that same medium length feather and I'm gluing this in a semi-curved row a few inches from the top. And then taking a medium smallish feather, I'm gluing them in a really tight row right at the very top of the wing. Now onto the smallest size feather. These don't have any wires on them, so I'm using just a small trail of hot glue down the middle to act as the wire, and I'm overlapping these over the edge of the wing. Lastly, I'm using the smallest feathers again in the very top corner of the wing to kind of just meld together the two sides. 
That's it for my wing tutorial. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare the harness and get that video up pretty soon. Um, and then I will show you them on my body with the harness as soon as I get the actual harness done because I can't do that yet. So make sure you subscribe if you like cosplay and like tutorials on how to cosplay. And don't forget to like and favorite that this video, my awesome angel wings, oh, I love them. But yeah, that's it. Have fun and good luck. Bird, what are you doing? Right there in my lens. Your face is in the way. Come to me. Thank you. Ooh, what are those, Bird? Those are gonna be wings. And I think you're gonna be scared of them, so you need to go away right now. Ja. I'm hitting stuff already! This is a disaster. Stay right there, Tiki Man. <laughs>